Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Svelte for beginners. In this series, we will start from scratch and learn the various concepts in Svelte. In this introductory video, I will briefly talk about the what and why of Svelte and also the prerequisites to get started. All right, let's begin with what is Svelte. Svelte is a component framework you can use to build high-performance web applications. What is a component framework? Well, a component framework helps you write application code in a declarative manner. But what do we mean by declarative? If you worked with some of the programming languages like C or C++ for example, you are probably aware of the imperative programming model where we usually list down the steps explicitly and ask the library to do one thing after the other. In the declarative version though, we are simply saying what outcome we want. We just have to tell Svelte what we want the UI to look like and it will take care of the rest. It's a lot easier to read and write and there's no code duplication. So you now know what is Svelte. It is a component framework for building web applications and you can use it to progressively build an existing application or build an entire single page application from scratch. But the more interesting question is why Svelte? Or how does Svelte compare to other frameworks or libraries like React and Vue? The first thing is that Unlike React or Vue, which do a bulk of their work in the browser, Svelte shifts that work into a compiled step that happens when you build your application. Because of this, there is no need to bundle the framework code and the bundle size is smaller. Of course, this is something that happens behind the scenes which you don't have to worry about when writing code. What you do have to worry about though is the developer experience. If you worked with React or Vue, you would find yourself with the problem of what to choose for state management. Redux or Vuex are not the most simplest libraries to understand. Svelte on the other hand provides Svelte stores out of the box which is really easy to work with. And not just that, Svelte has a ton of features which make your life easier by providing answers to questions you might have when building almost every application. How do we add motion and element transitions? How do we handle user input via form elements? How do we add CSS to our components without polluting the global scope? How do we edit the head tag for our single page application from within a component. And a lot more. Svelte has you covered. When starting out with web development, it is very comforting to have one recommended approach to do something and not be worried about making a wrong decision. Let me just say that Svelte is going to be a great addition to your skill set. Now then, what are the prerequisites to get started with Svelte? HTML, CSS and JavaScript fundamentals are absolutely necessary. For this course, I will also be making use of ES6 plus features, so a knowledge of modern JavaScript is also essential. You don't have to be an expert by any means, but there are a few modern JavaScript features that make it so much easier to write Svelte code. Now I'm going to leave a link to one of my videos where I go over 10 modern JavaScript features that will help you before getting started with Svelte. Please do watch that before continuing. My goal is to make sure we all advance from a complete beginner to being an expert in Svelte. Alright then, with this introduction, let's get started with a simple Hello World application in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.